robotic car that is remote controlled and it also um, has a ultrasonic sensor on the front. Right. On day one, uh, Aaron came to Mathobotics with little to no knowledge of how to code or even how to build a proper robot, but he was quickly given a brief introduction to the coding language C and learned how to turn on and off an LED. Next, Aaron applied uh, what he learned from the LED to his ability to turn on a motor. He learned how to make a motor go forward, backwards, and turn. On Tuesday, we worked on making the tank robot, which was our original robot, um, run in shapes, specifically a square and a circle and a triangle. We used a computer programming language called C on a microcomputer called an Arduino. Once we finished, we incorporated an ultrasonic sensor um, to make the robot, robot stop when it sees an object. All right, on day three, we started off fixing the code for our first robot. Um, however, after a few test runs, we realized uh, that the, one of the chips were overheating. We had to identify the problem and replace the fried uh, motor controller with a new motor controller. That, sh uh, that motor controller had a variation of the coding language C, so, so we had to learn how to program in that language. While our instructor helped us fix things up in our code to enable the robot to be ro remote controlled, we worked on programming a servo that holds a camera that could scan the room and identify an object. On day four, we were um, faced with some bad news. Our original goal, um, which was to have a robot that had a face recognition um, to like track objects and follow them, uh, was a little bit too complicated and we cannot finish it in uh, the time that we had left. So we decided to um, resort to only having a remote controlled robot and an ultrasonic sensor at the front. Um, so. After finishing the code, it worked, but the robot had difficulty turning due to the uneven weight distribution. I thought that um, it was an issue with the suspension, but it turned out that um, the the weight was off, so we had to re um, we had to put all the chips on um, in a new fashion, and we also had to reposition the battery so that the the weight was even. And uh, today, day five, we started building uh, this PowerPoint presentation right here. Um, after we decided to change between, uh, we decided to make the robot change between a, a remote control uh, mode using the Wii remote and a um, automated mode using the ultrasonic, uh, using the home button on the Wii remote. Uh, we had some difficulties making this work, but after a few trials, we got it up and running smoothly. To finish up, we made sure that everything in our robot worked smoothly, as it did. So, uh, we're going to demonstrate it. So I'm just going to hold it so it doesn't you know? run away. So, the reason why he's holding it is this, uh, this robot has a lot of power, and it might, you know. <laughs> Basically, uh, it's uh, it works sideways. So, um, and B makes uh, it stop. So if I go forward, it will go forward. If I go backwards, it goes backwards. If I turn left, it turns left. And if I turn right, it turns right. Um, yeah. And to switch between, uh, we use the button here. Press it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's you still. Hold it, it's right, let's go up and control it. So, okay. uh, try to plug in. Wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So All right. basically, now we have it uh, running on its own. So if it senses something in front of it using the ultrasonic, it'll back up, turn, and uh, move uh, forward again. It's a lot cooler on the ground, but. Yeah. <laughs> Any questions? Can you make it slower? Uh, we tried. It's kind of difficult, though, because with the program we were using, it was hard to adjust the speed. Uh,
Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's, so. Let's do that. So, any other questions? Yes. So, what remote do you use? The Wii. Oh, uh, the Wii remote. Uh, yes. <laughs> How fast do you think it goes in miles per hour? Five. five. Yeah, probably five. But yeah, in this tiny room, it's kind of a lot, so we have to hold it. Uh, yeah. What part overheated, and how did you fix it, it was, and what did you learn from that? It was the motor controller uh, board overheated, and it could not take the amount of volts that we were using to power the robot, so it kind of started smoking, and um, we had to use a new motor controller board, and then once we used that, we had to reprogram some stuff because it was uh, in a slightly different language. And then once we fixed that, we got the robot up and running again. Any other questions? Yes? How, you, <coughs> how do you connect the controller with the robot? Uh, we connected it using Bluetooth. Yeah. yeah. We connected it using Bluetooth. Bluetooth? Why a Wii remote? Why not Xbox One? Wii's <laughs> cool. Okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was very impressive. How old are you now? I'm 15 and um, 11. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.